Hey guys, going on? Mike the Caveman Q in here again, Paleo Pound Long Island, MikeTheCaveman.com. And today's question is, should you be eating oranges for vitamin C? And the answer is, not exactly. Similar to potassium in bananas, oranges, while they are a decent source of vitamin C, they are in top 10, number seven actually, there are a number of better options, particularly when you pair it with the sugar load. And that's what I've been getting into orange juice. The best source of vitamin C is actually papaya, followed by bell peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, strawberries, and pineapple, then comes oranges. Fun side note, beet greens, which we talked about in our potassium video as well, are actually number 17 on the list of best sources of vitamin C. So yet another reason not to throw out your beet greens. That being said, vitamin C is an absolutely essential water-soluble vitamin. It rolls as a cofactor for enzymes in the production of neurotransmitters, hormones, and other molecules. It also has roles in improving immune function, scavenging free radicals, in the production of collagen, and in the absorption of non-heme iron. So super important for you vegetarians and vegans. While most animals can synthesize vitamin C from glucose, we're missing the enzyme L-galonogamma-lactone oxidase. Say that three times fast. And that is the terminal, it's the final enzyme in the biosynthetic pathway for vitamin C. Interestingly, this difference may play a role in the bioavailability of ascorbic acid as a synthetic version versus that of whole foods, particularly if we're talking about the difference between animals and humans. Whereas whole food sources are generally better in animals, human trials, synthetic ascorbic acid is as good as, if not better in some cases, for bioavailability in humans. Now, let's be clear though. Real whole foods provide more than just ascorbic acid. The foods that are rich in vitamin C, vegetables and fruits predominantly, are also amazing sources of other micronutrients, polyphenols, flavonoids, and dietary fiber, which is a much better source of it than grains or legumes because it comes with a much lower anti-nutrient load. But remember, if you do still want to supplement with it, you want to make sure to get it in the form of a quality multivitamin like nutrients. The reason being, it works synergistically with other vitamins, so you don't want to mega dose it out the gate. So I'll put a link for nutrients in the description, but if you are taking vitamin C, make sure you take it with your other micronutrients. The one exception to the mega dosing rule would be if we did it intravenously, you know, IV drip, and if we're talking about very specific conditions, like say cancer. Other than that, you want to make sure everything's in balance. So, your biggest takeaways for today. Yes, oranges are an excellent source of vitamin C. Are they the best? Nope. Should you be getting it predominantly from processed and pasteurized orange juice? Absolutely not. You're likely going to be better off just sauteing up some bell peppers, some Brussels sprouts, some broccoli, or eating papaya before you work out. Those are all going to be better sources of vitamin C overall, with less of a caloric load and sugar ballast. If you want to ensure sufficiency in vitamin C, make sure you're supplementing with a quality multivitamin like nutrients, link in the description. If you want to learn more though, about why things should be in balance, check out this video over here. If you want to learn more about potassium, and like we talked about a couple of times in this video, check out my video on should you be doing bananas for potassium over here. That being said though guys, hopefully that helped you out. You know what to do though. Like and subscribe down below. Share it with your friends. Head over to Instagram and Twitter and follow me at Mike the Caveman over on Facebook at Paleo Problem Long Island and of course over at MikeTheCaveman.com. That being said, have a wonderful rest of your day. Go eat some cruciferous vegetables and I'll see you tomorrow.